So now we're going to do a skill session on exporting MIDI from Sibelius or programs like Sibelius into sequencing programs and think a little bit about why we might like to do this when we're making resources uh, for students that can lead to composition. So I've got a highly excellent uh, arrangement here of um, some Joscan that we were doing in senior secondary the other day. Now you might study this as a score, but then you might want to do something a little bit different with this or, or something else that you've made in class. For instance, when we were looking at technology last time, we talked about the idea of preparing uh, uh, versions of arrangements in GarageBand and then students being able to improvise over them. Obviously for stage four or five, um, that's a good thing where maybe their notation skills aren't so fantastic. So the way that we can share music between one program and another that don't share the same file type is with MIDI. So if I go File and choose Export in Sibelius and then choose MIDI file, then it's going to allow me to export that score that you just saw as a MIDI file and do different things with it in different programs. Exactly the same in Finale. There's no difference um, in uh, what you can do in the programs here. So I'm going to now just simply, I don't need to worry about any of these settings. It really doesn't matter. Normally this will be by default on general MIDI, which is what you want. Um, and type 1 is what you want here. But as long as you just leave it on the defaults, it'll work. Once I click export, it's going to ask me where to export it. And I'll put it on the desktop. And what I'm going to do now is actually close Sibelius. I tend to not have Sibelius and GarageBand running at the same time because they're both quite resource-hungry programs. And also Sibelius has a program called Rewire which is brilliant when you want it, sorry, a plugin called Rewire, which is brilliant when you want it and not so brilliant when you don't. What Rewire allows you to do, he says filling in while GarageBand loads, is um, synchronize any other, Sibelius to any other program that also has Rewire. GarageBand does, for instance. So I could actually get, give, show you a score with Sibelius playing a whole bunch of string parts, orchestral parts, but GarageBand has got a really nice recording of a vocal made over the top. So that's that's how using the two programs to together can be useful. But otherwise, I always make sure I shut one down before opening the next. OK, I'm just going to start a new project. And I'm not going to worry about uh, what's in that project or what it's called. I'm going to call it Delete Me Later, so I don't forget that I don't need this. And you can see on my desktop, the if I just move GarageBand off to one side, you can see on my desktop the MIDI file. So if I drag that in now, I'm going to put it right over in bar 1 here in GarageBand. I've got the, exactly the same file. Uh, it's automatically just chosen simple piano sounds. Don't need the metronome. OK, and what I could do then is start, you know, garage banding this up and uh, changing to some of its funky synth sounds. And it's probably going to sound awful. How to completely ruin a perfectly nice piece of music within seconds. Anyway, you get the idea. So let's just imagine that that is something like I wanted. Then how could this be uh, useful? Well, I might just simply want to make an, uh, export some audio out of GarageBand rather than out of Sibelius. Or I might want to um, possibly give these elements to students as loops. So remember how when we were doing When Doves Cry, we, I showed you all, every, all of the little bits broken up into loops. And then you could actually deconstruct that from here and create a GarageBand composition template, even though you started off with a score in Sibelius or Finale. Uh, I'll talk about making loops a little a little bit later in another video. But um, the um, the last thing I want to just say is uh, GarageBand is in, a, in many ways not the best uh, example. I show it because it's really easy to use and it's on all these computers. But GarageBand has the disadvantage while it imports MIDI, it doesn't export it. So if you create a file in GarageBand and then want to go and turn it into a notation file in Sibelius or Finale, you actually have to do a rather strange uh, trip. 
you ha what you have to do is open the GarageBand file in Logic and then export the MIDI from Logic <laughs> because Logic opens GarageBand files. Export the MIDI from Logic into Sibelius or Finale.